The operator of the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says the facility was hit by a tsunami as high as 15 meters on March 11th. Tokyo Electric Power Company revealed video footage taken by a plant worker during the tsunami. The man captured the images with his mobile phone while fleeing for higher ground. The footage shows the waves pounding against cliffs to a height of more than 20 meters. On Saturday, TEPCO reported on its survey of high water marks left on the plant's buildings. The cliffs the waves are hitting are located on the right side of the nuclear waste disposal facility. Trees on the coast are completely uprooted by the powerful waves. It says it found that the tsunami reached up to 15 meters on the ocean side of the reactor and turbine buildings. The figure is far beyond the company's originally estimated height of 5.7 meters. TEPCO confirmed that the six reactors at the troubled plant had been under as much as five meters of water. Thursday's magnitude 7.4 aftershock has forced nuclear plants and related facilities in northern Japan to rely on emergency power after the electricity was cut off. No major safety problems occurred but people are calling on power companies to review their backup plans so they can better deal with such contingencies. Thursday's quake knocked out all external power lines at Higashidori nuclear power plant in Aomori Prefecture, northern Japan, forcing it to use emergency diesel generators. The tremor also disabled all external power lines at a nuclear fuel reprocessing plant in the prefecture. It also shut down three of the four external power lines at the Onagawa nuclear power plant in Miyagi prefecture. Experts say that without electricity, cooling systems can't ensure the safety of reactors and spent nuclear fuel rods in storage. Utility firms are deploying power generating vehicles as part of an additional backup effort in case both the existing emergency systems and diesel power generators fail. But pressure is rising on power companies to review their backup plans amid the continuing crisis at the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Tokyo Electric Power Company plans to start removing highly radioactive water from the number two reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. A large amount of contaminated water was found in the reactor's turbine buildings and tunnels. The water is emitting high levels of radiation which is obstructing restoration work. The utility company had been working to empty the turbine condenser of the reactor and its processing facility for nuclear waste, and on Saturday successfully transferred all the water in the condenser to a separate tank. Hoses are being installed to connect the turbine buildings with the waste disposal facility. The contaminated water in the tunnel of the reactor will be transferred to the condenser, and then to the processing facility through the hoses. Also on Saturday, a steel plate was placed over the intake of the number two reactor to stop highly radioactive water from reaching the sea. The Japanese government says it will increase the number of machines to test food products for radioactive contamination following the damage to the nuclear power plant in Fukushima. The EU has announced it will ban all food imports from 11 prefectures unless they are accompanied by a safety guarantee. South Korea and Taiwan have tightened inspections. A shortage of machines for testing food products means that priority is being placed on the testing of items for domestic consumption. The Japanese government says a revised supplementary budget to assist the affected areas will finance the purchase of such machines by local governments.